What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield of VGC 2022 laddering session. Been a minute since I recorded one of these instead of just streaming it and using the stream highlight. However, um, I'm now back from Milwaukee Regionals and it's been so long since I played and I like I lost like my last few games on ladder uh, that you might notice I'm a bit low on the ladder, 4700 is not great. So we're going to be taking my... Um, we're going to be taking my Blastoise Thunderous team on the ladder and trying to get that rank up a little bit today. But before we do, if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day. By the end of the series, or by the end of the season, so World Championships, which... Um, which Gigantamax starter from Kanto, basically? So I don't know how I'm going to word this in like the you know, the text version of this. Which Gigantamax Kanto starter do you think is going to be most represented at the World Championships? I'm personally thinking it's either Charizard or Venusaur, uh, but I'm going to go Venusaur. I think I'm leaning more towards Venusaur because I think it's really underrated right now in terms of just the general power that a grass move has in this format. Yeah, the fire move's great, but fire types are like way more common than grass types, so it's much easier to avoid that residual damage. But yeah, However, it is like an instant nuke, so can't really discount that. Oh my god, why is this our first match? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna record a really quick video. Bam, Chansey Shuckle, Liopard, and for some reason, Necrozma Dawn Wings. Okay, let's do it, let's do it, that's fine, that's fine. I don't care, it's fine, I don't care, shut up. Um, We're gonna go Blastoise on lead. Zacian is all but necessary. Um. Yeah, we're going to go Blastoise and... Oh, wow, this is actually a really tough lead for me, isn't it? Amoongus could be very useful as well. Blastoise, Thunderous, um... Zacian, Amoongus seems to be my best bet. That sucks, okay. <laughs> I'm literally just like, let me record a quick video. Bam! This is going to be a 20-minute long battle minimum. Like, that is... What is... Isn't it... I forget. Do we have a 15-minute timer or a 20-minute timer online? I think it got changed to 15, um, like, in early 2021. That's, that's like, the skill level I'm at that I always forget what our timer's at. I only know one thing. When it says three minutes left in the battle or five minutes or whatever. Okay. Are you ready for me to absolutely nay-nay on this guy's entire existence? Are you ready for him to be nay nay Uh, let's go for the fake out onto you, and we're also going to go for the eerie impulse onto you. And there's a reason we're doing this. Um, if he goes for the immediate Dynamax thing, not expecting a fake out, which yes he is, uh, it's it's very likely that they're going to go for Copycat Trick Room, which if you don't know gives you instant Trick Room uh, with Liopard. It's one of the it's one of the most reliable forms of Trick Room that we've gotten uh, in any generation. However, it is foiled by one simple thing: spamming fake out. You can spam fake out, and it will never work. So we're going to try to do that. And if he doesn't go for it, well, there's the fake out. He didn't max guard, which is fine by me because I'm going to eerie impulse him here. Nice. So one would imagine he probably went for Snarl. Um, whatever move he's going for here, it's going to be, yeah, no, it's going to do, I'm going to guess he's life orb. So we're going to say 30% maximum. Uh, a little more than 30. That's fine though. I'm just going to keep clicking my thing. I'm just going to keep clicking my thing. I don't care. Actually, do I want a Dynamax here? No, he doesn't want Trick Room right now. Let's just Cannonade. Let's just Cannonade an Eerie Impulse. I don't want him to do anything. I don't think he wants Trick Room right now, to be honest. TBH. Uh, mainly because I would underspeed him and that would just be an issue. But I need to get my Cannonade off. I can't risk not getting a Cannonade off because versus Chansey, that's so important. Fake tears, that's fine. I'm just going to undo this and I'm going to tank whatever he wants to go for. Nice fake tears, loser. Behold, eerie impulse. I should just barely live this now because he still has terrain up. I should just barely live. I don't. Huh. Okay, well that's not great. TBH, not great. 
Um, how do I get around this? I mean, I can go Zacian and just Eerie Impulse again. My concern now is the Trick Room. I really don't want the Trick Room to happen. But, um... I mean, does this copycat go before my, my Eerie Impulse? Probably, so that kind of sucks. I think I need to Sacred Sword this thing. And I have to go for another Eerie Impulse. Because <laughs> I'm going to get Fake Tears. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Copycat, Trick Room's going to go up. I didn't really have a way of avoiding it at that point. That's fine, though. Because honestly, under Trick Room, I'm not too concerned of anything. I still get to spam Eerie Impulse versus like everything on the field. Um, and he's going to lose his Lyapard here. So if he has like Chansey Shuckle in the back, it really isn't a big deal because I have a full health Sashian. Um, and if he has the... Uh, what is it called? Uh, the Necrozma Dawn Wings. Um, I just spam my move versus it still. I spam Eerie Impulse. Because this, this Dialga is at minus four. There's the Shuckle. There he is. Okay, time to use our brains. Time to use our big boy brains. Um, the guard split will happen no matter what. I'd rather just get rid of Shuckle and get it to a chancy 1v3 because Zacian makes that so much easier. So my play here is going to be to double the Shuckle because that will KO. He's going to switch in the chancy hard. Or he's just going to power split. Okay, that's concerning. If I can block the guard split, I'll still be happy. Power gem. All right, that should bounce off of me. Yeah. Just blocking the guard split is my main concern here. This should still do a decent amount. Yep. All right. Is he berry juice or not berry juice? You know, the other item. Uh, this is funny enough, my best way of possibly preventing this. I have to Thunder Wave and Behemoth Blade because if I get a full pair here, I block it. Oh, he's Custap. Okay. All right, check this out. I just have to get this full para. This can be the easiest full para of my life. Bam. Okay, ready? He's not going to move. Okay, that didn't work. Luckily, I can just switch out my guy now. Alright, that's going to go down. Dialga is going to come in. Um, I just switch in my Amoongus and go for my Eerie Impulse. And if I can land a... If I can land a Spore, that'd be amazing. Because I am going to have to do it at minus one. Or minus two accuracy. Or my, plus two evasion. Same thing, though. More or less. Okay. Let's get in the Amoongus. Let's go for the Eerie Impulse. Not terribly scared of Dialga here. Mostly just scared of the Chansey being annoying in the endgame. Hopefully I get earth powered and not power gemmed. Minimize, there it is, okay. Power gem, that's fine. I'm just gonna eerie impulse you again to the point where you're not really a threat. And I need to connect this spore. There's my berry, nice. Let's get back up to like 60. I don't believe he has Protect, um, because he's revealed Power Gem, he definitely has Dual Stab and Trick Room. So we'll Eerie Impulse you again, we're going to go for a Spore on the Chansey, hopefully we can connect this, it's going to be huge. My goal is to get this guy to minus 6 and just spam Sacred Sword versus the Chansey. I missed that, which isn't great. He substitute Chansey, the mad lad, okay. We have reached the I can no longer afford to miss point of the match. Who's the dimensions to turn to normal? Okay. Um, let's go for a spore onto you. And I'm going to get in my Zacian and start spamming Sacred Sword. Because one would imagine they just minimize here and go for another power gem. Sacred 
So what is that? Uh, they definitely don't have defense curl then, which is actually really nice. It makes my sacred swords a little bit easier. Or not sacred swords. What am I saying? My behemoth plates hit a little bit harder because sacred sword will ignore it anyways. There's the thunder. Don't full para me, dude. Oh, that's a Moongus. That's fine. Okay, that's not great. Please don't. Don't do this. Seismic toss into a Moongus. All right, don't full para me. This is huge. <sighs> oh, you're kidding me, man. You're killing me here. Okay. I think it's in my best interest just to attempt the seed bomb. And let's let's get this to a 1v3. Sacred Sword should do it from this range. Let's just get it to a 1v3 because then I can win off of HP easier. How many minutes have passed since I began this video? Uh, 11 minutes since I started recording. It, I think my intro was like 2 or 3 minutes so we're a decent way into this game, I think I can start timer stalling. Yeah, I'll start timer stalling in a few turns, but I also do have regenerator on, on Amoongus, which could be really big. I missed my seed bomb, but he only has one, he only has one minimize up, which is really nice. And a sacred sword should break a sub here, so we're gonna go for a spore. We're gonna go for a sacred sword. I still have five minutes of my time. Hey, there we go. <laughs> They're like, yeah, no, Sacred Sword, it's, it's not enough. Cool, all right. Defeated the literal antagonist of competitive Pokemon. Some people will say it's Incineroar, some people will say it's Landorus. If you're cultured and you know what you're talking about, it has always been Chansey. The, the, the true antagonist of VGC has always been Chansey, and there's a good reason. Uh, that uh, This Pokemon's the reason that rounds take way too long in official events, because there's always one dude. Oh, he's not running dual stabs, so he just dropped his dragon move. Actually... Wait, Steel Beam's really cool for Chansey, because if you get a Trick Room off, you can Steel Beam and get a free switch into Shuckle if you're, like, below half health. That's really smart, actually. Yeah, he didn't have a way around that. Cool. Let's keep going. <laughs> Let's keep going. That was the worst. At the very least, it's good content. At the very least, that was good content, you know? But yeah, um, I think my next project Pokemon is going to be Tapu Bulu again. I, I always do this after a tournament. I'm like, oh, wow, that didn't work. Uh, let's go with another fun Pokemon. And I think that's going to be Tapu Bulu this time. I, I really like Tapu Bulu. I think it's a very underappreciated Pokemon in this format, specifically because Rillaboom exists. And also Dynamax sort of kills Tapu Bulu's one niche above Rillaboom, which is, well, for one, Stone Edge and Horn Leech is like a big thing. It has like really good recovery. Um, and decent coverage, but it's, it's mainly, um, Nature's Madness that got absolutely destroyed in this format. Alright, we see another Liopard Trick Room team. Um, yeah, no, I still just go Blastoise Thundee on lead here. I still just go Blastoise Thundee. Zacian looks pretty good. Amoongus is kind of iffy. Sweet Veil is going to block that. I kind of want to go Cali for that reason, because it actually is really nice, uh, for Snarling. And also, I have Will-O-Wisp, so... By the way, can you guys recommend me nice key lights? Um, because I was sent a key light by this company, but I have to return it uh, for for reasons, and I I wanna I wanna get a new one. So, if you can think of any nice key lights, let me know. All right, one would assume here we just do the same thing. We just do like the exact same play as last time. We Eerie Impulse. We go for our fake out. Yeah, because I mean, they could fake out me. And go for their own trick room, but even if they go for trick room, I'm not like I'm not like super concerned because like Blastoise just sort of beats a lot of his team. Alright, they are gonna go for the Dynamax. 
which sort of screams Trick Room here. I would imagine that's what they're going for. Um, if they're just going for the raw attack, both of my mons survive it, and I'm not super concerned with the damage. Since it's unlikely they faked out my Thunderous. Yep, my fake out goes first. Let's break that sash. Let's see if he copycatted. No copycat. Because it would have gone first there. So, probably just damage. Well, yeah, obviously just damage. What am I saying? <laughs> it's going to bounce off of me. No worries. Alright. Uh, I want to fake out again an Eerie Impulse again. Because last time, they absolutely nanate on us by actually going for the Trick Room. Which I think is their best option here, to be honest. They want a Trick Room. But let's just let's just see if we can block it once. Just for the, just for the flex. Alright, nope. We did not block it. However, we're going to be cutting some damage here. I might get Fake Tears, but it's fine. Actually, no. Fake Tears would have gone first, because they definitely have more speed than me. Snarl. That's fine, too. That's fine, too. And they're lefties, so that's actually... Oh, wait, what? They're Throat Spray? I thought they would be lefties there. I'm like, wait, wouldn't the lefties have activated last turn? Alright. No damage. At all. Um, and now they probably want to go for Trick Room, to be honest. So I'm going to Fake Out, and I'm actually going to get my Zacian. Now they probably want Trick Room. They know I'm blocking it, but I think they want to. I think they want to try it at the very least. And if Trick Room doesn't go up, they're in a huge. They're in a huge like bad position, hugely bad position. Sure, that's that's what I was trying to say. There it is. They're going for it now, as I thought. However, it's going to get blocked here. Oh, they're going for Taunt? Okay, that's fine. I wasn't really planning on protecting anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and just play rough into this Palkia. Let's play rough into the Palkia, and I'm actually going to get my Blastoise off the field here. Let's go back into Thundee. Even if, like, Incineroar comes in, I'm not too concerned. There's the Screech. Wonder what the point of that is. Are you physical Palkia? Are you about to reveal some nasty tech? No? You're just gonna go down? Okay. Nice. Alright. Um, a foul play would hurt at this point, but I don't believe I dropped to it. So my play is just gonna be to attack. And unless it's Babiri Berry, I really don't have anything to worry about. Um, let's double up in case you're, in, in case you're the Funny Berry. Actually, no, no, I don't double up in case he's the Funny Berry. I actually just go Calyrex and go for the one shot, because Babiri Berry would be very annoying. I can just go Calyrex though. Shouldn't drop to a foul play or anything. Nice. Alright, and this guarantees the one shot on the Calyrex Ice. So we're in a winning position. Sweet. Yeah, they don't exactly have the tools to beat me now. It's likely an Incineroar in the back, which loses to Blastoise. Um, and Thunderous can more or less just take on Liopard pretty easily. Especially if I just Dynamax Thunderous, the game's more the game's pretty much over. Oh, it's Alchemy. That's fun. That's a fun one. Okay. Uh, let's go for Astral Barrage. And I don't need to keep my Zacian around. Let's just Behemoth Blade. Nice. Okay. Two very clean matches so far. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one more for the vid. I try to do at least three. Sometimes I cut it down to two, though, just for time purposes. But, yeah.
Very nice. All right, we'll continue battling. Three thousand three. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna live stream tonight at like five thirty. So even if I like only get up to two thousand something, I'm fine because I'm gonna be playing more tonight. But we might do some team building as well as we face off versus seven twenty seven. I should be at like at the very least two thousand two hundred. I think if I win this match. Um, but that is a dramp. That is a drampa. That is a Drampa. So, I mean, like, Thunderous... I don't think he's going to bring Drampa to this matchup, to be honest. It doesn't do anything but wall out my Cali. Um, I think I still just go Thundy, Thundy Blastoise. That should be fine. Yeah, Thundy Blastoise. Um, I don't have Taunt on my Thundy is the issue. That could be really bad. But I could actually just lead off... I could actually lead off Blastoise Lando, and that would be arguably just as good. And I want my Calyrex in the back. No, mm, you got two Dark types. That's kind of that's kind of bad. We're gonna go Zacian, and we're gonna go Thundee. All right. Also, I need to get a new cap card. If you haven't noticed, for some reason, my cap card is very slightly blurry. It's always been like that. It's always been just a little bit less high resolution than I wanted it to. And the reason is, it's a low-end capture card. I bought this capture card to play Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. What is it? 20, was that 2019 or 2018? 2019, probably. Uh, so I bought this capture card three-ish years ago to play Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee uh, and stream it. I made no content on Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee in the end. I think I streamed it once. Uh, and then I held on to it until Sword and Shield. And I've just been getting away with having the lowest quality looking videos. <laughs> of any VGC uh, streamer, like, just ever, which is super funny to me. <laughs> I've just gotten away with it because it's like, yeah, no one's really going to care. <laughs> um, I'm not Lum on my Lando, I'm White Herb, but I think the Dynamax here is pretty justified. Because I do get Airstream. I think I want to just fake out Airstream. Because they don't have any switch ins to this. They just have to eat it. Unless they're like specs, uh, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, they don't have any intimidators or anything, so they would have to like protect max guard or whatever. Or they could just be, you know, Koba Berry, which is fine. Which is fine, because I'm going to Icy Win next turn. If I get Will O Wisp, I suppose that would sort of suck, but even then, I'm still getting Speed Boost on Blastoise, which means it's not the end of the world. Fake out, cool. So I should knock out this Amoongus, barring speed swap. Okay, yeah. Um, don't, please. Just don't. Alright, cool. No berry. You're gone. And your Cali's slow. And you're dumb. Ratio something. No, you're not dumb. That's actually really cool. When I'm on stream, it's so much easier just to, like, jokingly trash talk the opponent. I've never really trash talked my opponents, but I, I always like to be, like, dummy plus you're stupid plus ratio plus I love you. Like, just just half-hearted, half-hearted um, insults that I just don't actually mean. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and... I mean, I basically just get to hit this Calyrex, don't I? Eh, maybe just go for Icy Wind. I don't need to max airstream anymore. I'm permanently faster. Um, so we're going to quake icy wind. Yep. I was going to say, like, if Zacian comes in, it doesn't want to eat this, which is why I just locked hydro cannon. Oh, no, I locked icy wind. I'm stupid. I don't know why. I considered hydro cannon and then didn't. Considered it briefly. For a moment, even. Scary face. Okay. Well, I am white herb, and now you are slower than me still. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. All right. Um, do you think this Grimmsnarl eats? I've actually never seen a Grimmsnarl take a, a raw max Lando hit. It's always been behind screens, and which means it always eats. So I don't know if it actually eats this. Grimmsnarl's physical defense does leave a lot to be desired. No, it doesn't eat, so I just kind of win. sick yeah um i'm just gonna go ahead and airstream and hydro cannon that should do it 
But I'm at neutral speed right now. It's just that the Zacian's slow. And the Calyrex is definitely not spec, since you wouldn't lock spec speed swap, right? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Um, I Hydro Cannon you. I Airstream you. And that should really just wrap it up. Nice! Okay, just a, just a lot of really clean games today. I'm very happy with how we played. Um, that should bring us up pretty decently high in the rank. I'm going to check it before I end the vid. Uh, I think I'm going to be like 2,200. And then like when I stream tonight, I'll be like 2,201 because of Decay or whatever. It's, you know. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I do want to look at that. That that was a really cool team. I imagine like speed swaps also for uh, Drampa because that has a pretty decent special attack set. Ooh, that's a lot of ribbons. What are all these ribbons for? I didn't even know we can get that many ribbons on, on Zacian. Because that, that's Galar Champion. That's the Great Friend ribbon. That's the Well-Trained ribbon. And I think that's the um, Event ribbon. And like, same thing, but not Event. Is it Life Orb? Assault Fest, okay. Leftovers Amoongus, not very based. Also, it's only moves foul play. It's only offensive moves foul play. Um, Pretty cool. Grimmsnarl there. It's actually Urshifu Water, so Calyrex Shadow wouldn't have been that bad. Pollen Puff Astro Barrage. This is a very interesting team. That is a very cool team. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out our rating. Alright, update rank. Probably, I'm going to guess 2,200. Ish, you know, maybe 300. Yeah, 2,365. Nice. But that's going to be it for today. Um, I was shooting for 30 minutes, but we're going to come up a little bit short since that last battle was pretty quick. Uh, very fun games today. I actually really enjoyed recording. Uh, usually I don't like just recording and sitting down and talking to no one. The chat is what keeps me entertaining usually, but um, I think we had a good time. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.